day was July 3rd, 1962. It was quite the day, it was quite the normal day in Syracuse, New York. Nothing extraordinary was going on. People were going about their usual summer business. Little did the people of Syracuse know, a star was born that would change the shape of American filmmaking forever. So began the career of Tom Cruise. His actual birth name was Thomas Cruise Maypuller IV. His mother was an amateur actress who substituted on the weekends. And his father was an electrical engineer. He was the only boy out of four children. Today I'll be talking about the tumultuous life of Tom Cruise. There are many different things one can talk about when speaking about Tom, but I'll focus on the main points of his career. We will be going over his childhood and how that catapulted himself into the acting business. Then we'll learn more about his movie career, certain awards he achieved, and which movies made him top the charts in the box office. And lastly, I'll talk about his personal life as a celebrity, his marriages and some bad, bad public stunts that proved, be, that proved to some people that he just wasn't the same actor that he once was. Tom's childhood is so overshadowed, and when one takes a closer look at it, it is amazing that he has come as far as he has. At birth, Tom was diagnosed with dyslexia. By the time he was 16 years old, he had already attended 15 different schools all around the Eastern Coast, the Midwest, and even living in Canada at one point. His father had to move around a lot to accommodate for his job. Tom recalls that nearly every school he went to, he was bullied, probably because of his shorter stature and his reading disability. This bullying didn't stop at school either. At home, his father was reportedly to be abusive. Tom described him as, described him as a bully and a coward in an interview with Parade Magazine, later saying that he was the kind of person where if something goes wrong, they kick you. He was an antisocial personality, inconsistent, unpredictable. It was a great lesson in my life. His mother soon had enough, got a divorce, and took the kids to her sisters for a while. With this pent-up anger toward his father, Tom started to play sports. Teachers remember Tom always playing street hockey, working hard, and always getting in fights with the other kids. Cruz often pursued excellence in everything that he did. Tom also knew that he would have to take on more responsibility, being the only man in the house. He took a scholarship at the St. Francis Seminary in Cincinnati, where he studied to become a priest for a year. It was around this time Tom had turned 16, and his mother remarried again. After deciding that the seminary wasn't for him, Tom enrolled in Glen Ridge High School, which proved to be his final institution. How Tom was brought into the acting business was actually by accident. One day when Tom Cruise was wrestling with a couple of friends, he severely injured his knee, and it looked like his sporting career was over. Then it was suggested to him that he should try, try his luck in the school play. With nothing better to do, Tom threw himself in the field, pursuing excellence once again. He eventually decided to leave his family and try his luck in the New York acting scene. He waited tables to keep a cheap apartment. He auditioned for every television ad he could find, always working harder than the other actors. His hard work paid off because eventually he was able to move to Hollywood, getting cast in small roles. This is when he officially started calling himself just Tom Cruise, which was quicker and snappier. And with that, we'll talk about his acting career. Tom has been nominated for three Oscars and has won numerous Golden Globe Awards. His hard work in his early small roles got him noticed by other directors, and most said that was his advantage. Just after two small roles, Tom Cruise already cast as a big role in only his third film, The Outsiders. Shortly after that, Cruise was cast as Joel Goodson in the movie Risky Business, which was released in the same year. Tom was only 21 years old and was already a recognized actor. Directors now knew that they had to get Cruise in their movies. Three years later, director Tony Scott cast Cruise in the blockbuster Top Gun, which is still popular today. Um, he played Pete Maravich Mitchell, a fighter pilot. Cruise was now recognized as a top A-list celebrity. In the 90s, Tom's top movies were A Few Good Men and Jerry Maguire, and the first, mission, first of the Mission Impossible series. Also in 1990, Tom Cruise was named People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. It was after these few movies that Tom Cruise was started to be considered one of the best actors of all time. He was still young and was a top grossing actor. After 2000, however, Cruise started to cool off. During his production of the 2005 movie War of the Worlds was what most considered to be his downfall. But before we can start talking about his downfall, we have to find where he started to go wrong. And that is considered to be when he first married his wife, his first wife, Mimi Rogers, in 1987. Mimi Rogers introduced Tom to a religion called Scientology. The Church of Scientology is considered a cult, 
and they have pretty drastic and fanatical beliefs. If you wish to learn more about it, YouTube South Park Scientology, and it will give you a pretty accurate description. Tom also credited Scientology for the healing of his, of his dyslexia. For most of his career, Tom was able to keep his beliefs of Scientology under wraps and not make it too public. When Tom divorced Mimi Rogers and married his next wife, Nicole Kidman, their marriage lasted nine years and his belief in Scientology was rumored to have played a part in their divorce. Then Tom Cruise fired his agent and everything went downhill from there. In 2005, while promoting War of the Worlds, Cruise made an appearance on Oprah that will be remembered for forever. While expressing his love for his new girlfriend, Katie Holmes, he performed an odd number of actions, eventually jumping onto the couch and yelling about how much he loved her. Shortly after that, Cruz made an appearance on the Today Show and had an interview with Matt Lauer. The Church of Scientology is heavily against psychiatric medicine, and they were discussing the actress Brooke Shields and her usage of psychiatric medicine. Lauer and Cruz didn't agree with each other, and Cruz lost control. He called Matt a glib and told him to be more responsible. He later told Matt the famous line that, you don't know the history of psychiatry, I do. This made a public relations nightmare for Tom Cruise. Many critics say that the best of him is long behind him, and he is too old to make a comeback. However, Cruz has a few new movies coming in this year and 2013, so we best see if he is on the decline or not. Overall, Tom Cruise had a rough life, even tougher since the introduction of Scientology into it. I have talked about Tom Cruise's childhood, his acting career, and his personal life, but as you all know, no matter how much success you can achieve, it can all go down the toilet when you practice Scientology.